Hello guys and welcome to new track guide video. Today we are at Red Bull Ring in group 2. This time I'm using the Motul Autech GTR as usual, one of the best cars in this class. Of course this time as the previous weeks we have racing medium tires and yeah I'll try to explain everything the best as I possibly can. But before we get going, my website is currently live, link is down below in the description and on my channel so feel free to visit it. Currently it's all about coaching but I would like to update it in the future. So guys stay tuned and let's go to the track guide. As usual start the lap carrying as much speed as you possibly can onto the main straight. And of course we're gonna be looking for the 100 meter sign and break in the straight line. Just uh, I would seriously suggest maybe even before the 100 meter sign, just a fraction of a second before it breaks so you can be sure that you're gonna make it. Not a lot of trail breaking going in here, I clipped this uh, kind of a sausage curb there. It unsettled the car but I got, actually got a little bit of time so it was eventually, it was even better than I expected to be. So uh, yeah, I would suggest maybe breaking before the 100 meter sign so you can get a better uh, and uh, much more smoother. Uh, exit onto this uh, straight. So next one is the 100 meter sign. Just gotta make sure that you break just before the 100 meter sign and go for the late apex. I also noticed that this is a kind of a gravel change so you can see a difference in color. Uh, this is usually when I start to go in and start steering into the turn. Also I had the sausage curb there, maybe too aggressive. So not a lot of, um, yeah, I wouldn't say that you need to really attack that curb, but just just touch it and do not touch the sausage curb. I think it's the best. So uh, yeah, easy on the power as you as you go onto this uh, straight and look for again it's the 100 meter sign and I like to break here just before the 100 meter sign and also break in the straight line. It's crucial here because otherwise if you start steering a fraction of a second too early, the car will slide and you will lose control. So uh, yeah, you have the marker on the left hand side. I like to go uh, and start steering when I pass the marker. Here I didn't quite get the inside of the curb but the exit was quite good so you can even take the inside and slowly and gradually start to build up the throttle and get that nice exit. So even exiting in third gear could be even better than I did now so maybe exit in third, second or third depending on the angle you take it in the corner. 50 meter sign is the next reference so break just before the 50 meter sign early so you gotta go in early for this apex. Not a lot of trail breaking going in and about three quarters of the turn in I like to start in putting in the power and you can eventually even go a little bit wider there. So the next reference here is this ending, actually, it's actually the line here and again not a lot of trail breaking going in so I just tap the curb, get to the inside of this curb, I really didn't quite manage to get on the inside but it was a decent run after all so I think it's possible to even break into the 120.3s, 120.4s but the week will tell so uh, yeah into our last section of the track you see those two marshals on the left. Uh, this is your next reference point. I think I've overbraked myself in here, but you can maybe use a little bit less braking. Not a lot of trail braking going in. As, as soon as you touch the curb, I like to start build up, building up that power and getting a really, really nice exit. So look for those two yellow sausage curbs for your last, last reference point. And again, I think I outbraked myself in here. But the line was pretty good and yeah, I think it's good for this track guide video. So early on the power and I think I lost maybe half a ten there uh, in that corner alone. In that section around maybe half a ten to maybe a ten. So guys, yeah, uh, this could be this could be even better. I would like to thank my patrons uh, this way and of course my supporters out on YouTube. So guys, thank you, thank you once again. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like this and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thank you and I'll catch you guys next time.